In this demo, I'll give you a quick overview of the SciGen SciCapture pharmacy routing application that's having great success in many hospitals across the country. The pharmacy challenge is, is typical. Um, you know, the, the pharmacists and the pharmacy receive just a ton of paperwork, typically through faxes, that's, you know, a reliable confidential um, transmission method. And uh, unfortunately, they receive the paper, they've got to manage it, sort it. A lot of times they'll receive multiple physician orders or, or med orders through the fax that they have to sort through and then place into the, uh, into the ordering system. So a lot of times, both urgent requests as well as just normal requests are mixed in together and it's hard to sort things and manage them in an appropriate manner. What Site Capture provides is the ability to take scanned uh, physician orders from desktop scanners, from scanning copiers, from fax machines, harvest those, auto process them, read information such as a patient barcode, and then automatically standardize the structure with which we build the pharmacy queue. Now overall what we do is we reduce the required time for scanning and indexing documents. We enable the standardized process for capturing uh, pharmacy orders uh, as well as indexing and naming and setting up a processing queue for those orders. And finally, our application is very flexible. We support over 35 different backend systems. Uh, including Microsoft SharePoint, which can make it very easy to bring those faxes in and put them into a workflow type of queue, uh, no matter what type of backend system you're using. Now I'll show you a quick overview and a demo of a, a real-life implementation of the, the SciCapture solution. Uh, this is actually in place at several heart hospitals in, in Texas and Arizona. And what they've done is the majority of these hospitals have nursing stations or what they call pods on different floors throughout the hospital. And they've enabled their scanning RICO copiers to scan to specific pod folders on the network. So if I go ahead and open up one of these pod folders, you'll see that within there, when the nurses walk up to the scanning copiers, they have the capability to pick uh, either a regular or a stat type pharmacy order. Okay, to simulate the scan, they walk up to the copier, throw their orders into the feeder, press the start button, and it drops into this folder. SciCapture watches this folder, picks it up from the specific nursing station, routes it, reads a patient barcode, does a database lookup to find out patient information, and then in this particular example, we'll route it into Microsoft SharePoint so that the pharmacist can manage the queue through that interface. You can see that that, um, that set of orders actually got picked up and, and within that batch, there's actually five separate orders. Okay, So it'll take a minute for SciCapture to pick up, process those documents, and actually read the barcode, do the database lookup. And then the final result will be a nice uh, standardized queue here with all the information within Microsoft SharePoint. So if we refresh this page, it'll take a minute or so for those orders to come through. And what I want to point out in this demo as well that there is one bad order in which the barcode has been colored through. So SciCapture won't be able to read that order and what we have built into the system is some validation technology that will actually look at the order, look at the barcode. If it can't read it, it will actually send an email to the pharmacy uh, manager or one of the staff. And what that does is gives you a nice easy way to be notified whenever there's an issue for this auto processing that's going on in the background. So you can see that four of the orders have come in and um, they're named you know, with the nursing station, the urgency, and then the patient name, which is actually read from a database through the barcode that gets read. And then the urgency is read, the patient number, the patient name. So you get a nice uh, structured queue here that can be managed within Microsoft SharePoint. Now if I open up SciCapture, I mentioned that there were five orders that were supposed to come through. Let's go into the batch manager. 
and we'll take a peek. And you can see here that there's an exceptions batch. So this exception batch is a single document. And if I open this batch up, we'll see that if we look at this document, the barcode uh, has been marred, so we can't actually read it. So what Sign Capture does when it creates this exception, it lets us come in here, manually type in the information, It'll do the database lookup for us, and then it just prompts us to go ahead and uh, proceed with the workflow. So all you have to do in the pharmacy is go in, enter the missing information, click OK, and the end result, the workflow will process that document, convert it to a searchable PDF, and then in a minute here we're going to see, see that, uh, that missing pharmacy order within SharePoint. Okay. Now one of the other things I'd like to point out is that uh, we've partnered with a company called Italisoft that makes a nice compact uh, SharePoint previewer as well as full inline document management viewer. So if we open up Visit, we'll be able to actually view that document, um, make annotations, search for different information. So it's a very flexible product that lets me work with the pharmacy requests after they've been placed into SharePoint. You can see the previewer opened up. I can actually see my documents. And then uh, we'll open up our, our visit viewer as well. And through the visit viewer, I can actually see the data about the document. All of the data is listed. I have the ability to edit it so I could remove three hole punches or deskew, despeckle, rotate. I can put annotations on the document. So if I wanted to annotate this document, redact information, put a stamp or some note for another pharmacist, I could do that. Now the other option we have here in Visit is to come in and actually do a column-based search. So if I wanted to come in and do a search for all of the stat orders, I can do that and have them listed. I can preview them. I can look at all the information and check them off one by one as I, I go through and process these. Okay, And by now that last uh, pharmacy order will have come in. So we'll see a total of five orders in the queue. So a nice, simple, easy to use, standardized meth method to manage all different types of incoming uh, pharmacy requests. If you have any questions, you can contact your reseller or sales at SciGen.com. Thanks.